VK Subraj IAS to bestow his wisdom upon us and share his valuable insights with us. Guest of honor, distinguished trustees on the stage, distinguished higher officials of this group institutions, distinguished Mr. Dr. Vijay. Principal and Director of this Institute, our distinguished faculty members and dear students, another invite is to this important college day function. I am delighted to be here on this happy occasion of the annual day of this great institution. From the report read by the distinguished uh, principal of this institution. I could see how this institution has traveled from the year 2008 when government permitted this institution to come up. Let me first of all congratulate the chairman and other trustees for creating such an institution in this place and contributed to the growth of the country in a very big way. I want to congratulate the chairman not only for this institution, for creating hundreds of institutions. I don't think anybody in India has created this many number of institutions. In Indian history, it is very difficult to do business in India because of the so many problems that we encounter. It is very difficult to create institution even by a government. On one, I was government secretary and I have suffered the maximum to create government institutions in India. Not only here but also in, in the government of India create an institution even within the government system is such a great difficult situation. In such a scenario, the chairman and other trustees have created hundreds of institutions. I think he is a powerful for having created such a great institutions, for serving the country, for creating facilities for students. Otherwise, all of our students should have to go to other states and other countries for education. I think this is a great achievement. And as far as this tender institution is concerned, this is a great infrastructure facility for the people of this area. This, area. this principal and director of this institution is every getting this institution and running the institution on the proper lines to see that various approvals are obtained and various orders are obtained by this institution. I would like to congratulate the principal as well as the staff and other associated persons for achieving this great level. The students by joining this institution they become the skilled manpower of this country. You must be knowing that our country is lacking skilled manpower to a great extent. Our percentage of skilled manpower, especially in the young category, workforce category, is only 11% 
But some people get their, their real examples of power. For instance, engineering graduates, lot of engineering graduates, they study, they become engineers, they become ordinary employees working in various places. The salary structure may be less than 50,000, less than even 20,000 per month. But a person who acquires the maximum knowledge and who utilizes it to the best advantage of a company who gets salary of rupees 2 crores per day. Can you imagine a knowledgeable person getting salary of rupees 2 crores per day? Even 2 crores plus, we can say, if we take all other facilities from our account. A person's income is 2 crores per day plus. Such persons are created by India. Such persons are ruling in America. Recently, some 4 or 5 years back, our Prime Minister visited America. He was uh, having discussion with the various CEOs of different companies. At the time of discussions, one American CEO pointed to an Indian CEO and they said, he is a gift of God to the earth. That is why he has reached this such a level. His salary level is two crores per day. Can you imagine? When I joined the service, the top most service in India, Indian administrative service, my salary was only 1,200 rupees per month. And all other categories used to get 600 rupees, 500 rupees per month. So we could not do anything with that money. We can just live. But once you acquire a technical knowledge, once you get skill in a particular field, your earnings will go up to crores. There are hundreds of thousands of people who are getting one crore per month, even in India. There are millions of people who are getting more than two lakhs per month. Even one lakh is a substantial money. That is because of the knowledge one gains the field. So you are getting a skillful knowledge with this skill, you can reach anywhere. It depends on you, how you acquire knowledge, how you utilize the knowledge, how you use the knowledge for the development of the self as well as to the family as well as to the country. So I would request you to improve your knowledge. Such institutions during school and student days very difficult to appreciate. Once you complete your student days, you will not get opportunities to study, improve your knowledge, because you will be loaded with day-to-day -day activities, day-to-day -day problems. Second important point I would like to stress is health is wealth. When you enter the school, another goal will be the health is wealth. You should maintain the utmost health. You should not maintain not only your health but also the health of your family members, health of the people around you. Because without health, whatever wealth you have, whatever knowledge you have, whatever wealth you have will have no meaning. So this is another important issue which I would like to stress on this important day. Third is you should maintain top class integrity and honesty. Third quote which I read in my school days was, honesty is the best policy. Always be honest. Maintain top class integrity. I find many people, they maintain integrity up to a particular level. After some time they will lose that. They will get into problems. 
So very very important. What will be the field you work? You have to maintain top class integrity, and that should continue throughout your life. So never leave it under any circumstances. And you should maintain. You should you should have.
to speak an argument. Now I request our guest of honor, group captain Dr. Alok Agarwal sir, to share his thoughts with us. And uh, on this occasion, I want to thank her uh, because it's a 
sudden plan what we have done here because in the past five only we plan to uh, do these reviews and we plan to have a name also that like a 10 reviews so in the reviews we have the name of uh, number name of our vs is two so we mention this as a reviews here and i'm very happy to mention this name here and i thank you by co-editors dr umesh professor community department and dr deepa professor and our department of prosthodontics and within this occasion i thank them uh, for this make it making it possible in the last one thank you very much respected chief guest guest of honor chief administrative officer chief engineer interesting CFO, our beloved principal, Madam Secretary, my all attorneys, all faculty, and on the top of that, our centric. and the fulcrum of our this celebration our students you are all being greeted here by your and addressed by our chief guest once again on behalf of our honorable chairman dr k b puswami i do extend his well wishes and greetings to all of you on this special occasion of your journey our chief guest has just categorized few things for all of you we have to be very hard working honest full of confidence throughout our journey <coughs> and never fail in completing the path the journey you have started in the extension of his just talk i would just mention one story to all of you one small story and then i will stop my talk the story goes like this long back in 1953 olympic marathon was being held in mexico and there were so many competitors to win the race there was one person from that same country who was also one of the runner and doing very well exactly up to half of the marathon suddenly when he had just completed 50% of his uh, marathon around 8 to 10 kilometers he developed some knee pain suddenly and he fell down he was on the ground for a few minutes and thinking what to do now because that was the host country and lot of hopes were on that person he was a good marathon runner but he was not able to even just to get up and stand on his feet finally after 7 to 8 minutes what he did he slowly just got stood on his feet and tried to walk he was there for a run but he was just trying to walk on his both leg <coughs> and you know the marathon was over some 
13 hours before already 13 hours i am talking to you that man was just walking on that whole track and suddenly some camera persons those were just taking care of all those events they found that one man is just walking on the track and you won't believe he completed that marathon next day morning when no spectator was in the auditorium no person was judging him no one looking him but when the people came to take care of the next day events suddenly one cameraman one pressman found that person that he started his journey yesterday around 10 11 and he is now still on the track so he did not win the race but all over the world his photo was on the front page of all national and international newspaper that he did not win the race but he is the actual winner of this marathon so i just repeated the words of our chief guest that this is the degree of confidence this is the purpose of your life if you just consider anything if you take any thing in your mind that needs to be completed never never ever think of incomplete journey if you are walking to some journey walk all the way this is a story whether you have walked all the way if we have not walked all the way then there is no point of any success or failure so with this only with these words i do congratulate all faculty all staff administrative staff from the trust from your colleagues and our very dynamic principal and his most vibrant team of the sarvis dental college i am really proud of you i am really proud of our students and you are the people here you are not only the students as sir has mentioned you are here kind of product and this is the product you are going to show off to the world and you are the most important factor to improve your gdp gross domestic product you are kind of product if you are going to sell your knowledge your skills in the world of job to the fullest way you are not only benefiting your family yourself your relations but you are benefiting first to your colleagues then to yourself then to your family then to your village then to your district then to your state and finally to the nation so please do whatever you are doing with fullest of your energy and contribute become the growth engine of your country with these words thank you very much